Because to be fair, I use Twitch. Okay, oh, Jin has a big hand. Okay, I'm All gonna right, call. guys, we are back with poker. I apologize for the stream earlier. I would let's hope and pray that it doesn't disconnect us. If it does, I apologize. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we did a moonshine sale again. Moonshine, moonshine sh sale. My bad. Okay, Jin's gonna raise. We are playing some call. poker. Episode three and... of Guns of the Hellgast Game Night, where we decided to start Jin... doing poker to pass the time. Exactly, and Jin has the bigger hand right right now, so you guys got to be careful. <laughs> check as always. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna call. Uh, here's the turn. Hmm. Okay, call. Face me, heathen. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, I won it. A dollar and sixty. Oh, good job, Boston. Mm. I can't believe I just got got wrecked on that one. So everyone's rich and now I'm actually poor. <laughs> yeah. ha 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 ha. It, it's called payback for it because you were falling on last game night. I get it, Jin. But you folded so many clothes, you became a woman. <laughs> Fuck you, Jin. <laughs> Alright, you want to play that way? I'm going to raise. I'm a married woman. Hmm. No, she got married so many times, it's not even funny. My character, I mean. <laughs> Since I have the big hand, I'm going to go for a 90, 96 cents raise. Mm. <coughs> See. Mm -hmm. Ace high. Hey, this is high, queen's high, king's high. Let's see who gets the pod. Yes! I freaking won, dogs! Hmm. <laughs> the house rates 14 cents. I say we kill the house. Yep. Take back our money. Yep. Well, it's gonna be hard, Jen. When you have, well, we we won the house, but we didn't get. I mean, but we didn't get the Senate. You have to keep. Well, and actually, not we. I mean, that. Yeah, wait, no, 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 Jen. I'll tell you what we ought to do to the house. We ought to throw a cocktail in it and just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Austin has then has then all the money we we'll burn. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um. Jen went for a raise. Austin has a big hand, so Austin has a fifty percent chance of winning. Or a fifty percent chance of losing. Mm. And me and Jin, I think Jin has a thirty percent chance of winning, according to the big hand. That's how I know this stuff. <laughs> I'll place a check. You're gonna pick up the check. Oh, it's hey, poker. Waiter, Jin. Give me a whiskey. Oh, I love me some double shot of whiskey because Ventura is picking up the check. <laughs> Amen to that, Jen. All right, check. Okay, another check by Austin. Yeah, I always, I always press X, no matter what it is. Always. No, but I'm surprised when when you get the big hand. I'm surprised you don't go for a raise, Austin. Yeah, it's poker, man. What do you expect? I go for a raise when I have the big hand, and you get rewarded more for the risk. <sighs> See, 
see. All right, I'll s Jin Kun won the pack. Nice, nice job, buddy. Two hundred, two dollars and eighty-six cents. I wish it was two hundred bits. Two dollars and eighty-six cents. I didn't even have big hands. Okay. I had normal fast hands, and I took all of your chips <laughs> with my right. normal fast hands. All right, so it's my turn to uh, to pass the deck of cards. <laughs> I like how I, I like how I flip. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to call. Who are you going to call? Jin, you know his Ghostbusters. Give me a break. Finally, someone learned how to play. Shut up, John. No, John would literally say that if you keep holding, he will say. John, and you start stop playing. Looking at my he... boobs. What the hell? I'm married. Stop That's right, you better stay food. married. You better keep it that way. Yeah. I'm I'm but I'm married to Abigail. How can you accuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's a turn, guys. Let's see who gets the pod. Oh, oh guys, my god, it won! Dollars. Nice! <laughs> Isabel Young, we're celebrating. Hmm. Damn, everyone's getting dude. Me, me and Jin have like six hundred. Holy shit! Yeah, six hundred cents. All right, oh, I'm, since I have big, I'm gonna go all in. I wish I could go all in, but the the thing just I only have the raise option, which is kind of dumb. Yeah, no, right. You should be able to call Max Bet at any time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. See? Watch this. But that's not the max bet, that's called having a raise. Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna go for a raise as well. Oh, that's max bet. No, See? Jen, you only- It Jen... says it on the screen! Yeah, it, said, it said max bet. That's why it was no, max but... bet that time. No, 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 you could go for- What I mean by max bet meaning is like, let's say you have five bucks. You go in for five bucks. Yeah. You lose all, you take all. Right. Exactly, but the max bet option is a joke in this game. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, I, I won two dollars and eighty six cents again. You should be able to go in. <clears throat> you should be able to go in all all in as soon as you can, you know. But yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I got the small hand. So I got like a I think like a twenty percent chance of losing. Or winning, and Austin has the big hand, so Austin definitely is 50 50. God, I sound like a card gaming geek because I actually know the rules. <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure, it's, good. it's a good thing to have somebody like you that, know, that knows the ins and outs. Exactly, so I'm gonna just go for a call. <laughs> I'm gonna go all in. Call. Alright, here's the turn, guys. This is what I got. Seven highs. Austin got a jack of highs. Jin got an ace. <laughs> Let's see if the if the deck does match. <laughs> Alright, Jin gets the pot. I'm getting lucky tonight. I'm getting jack. But that's okay. <laughs> Slim girls gotta lose every once in a while. I won with my normal fast hands. I got a buy-in because I ran Did out of chips. Did you see that? That's okay. Ex no, Jenny. Even though you I were at a disadvantage. Your chips with my normal fast hands. <laughs> All right, we get it. The buffoon has small hands. We get it. <laughs> and I flipped you off with my normal fast hands yeah, and I said, all "Fuck my you." Money on that one. Pay me. All right. Well, Jen has the big hand once again. Big blind. All right, so I'm gonna call. Blind. No, the big the big blind is actually good because you do have the advantage, but it's fifty because fifty. I'm telling you. I have less light shining on my face, so I can see my cards better. <laughs> okay, Jen's going for a raise. I'm gonna call. 
Call who? No, that's what you do in the game, Jen. You're calling me. Yeah, I'm calling you to place a bed, dumb you, you dumb stick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is this? Is that six? Don't tell me your cards, Jen. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's a private game. It's not like we have anything to lose. Now, if it's a public <laughs> game where we have to go in game chat, it would be different. I have a six. But yeah, Jen, I don't think I... you actually do that. It's... I kind of get why, but at the same time, it's kind of dumb. Hmm. I, I don't know. I have a six, Ventura. Shush, keep that to yourself. No, I have a six. <laughs> Leave it to Jen to <laughs> always break the ice. What are you gonna do, Ventura? I mm. have a six. Yes. All right. Finally, someone learns how to play. Shut up, John. <laughs> oh, I love John, man. <laughs> oh, he would joke like that too. I ain't lying to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna mock Jin Kun, you little lying yeah. piece of shit. I told you I have a six. Woohoo! I finally uh, won something. What? Austin, you won the pot. <laughs> you had the small hand and you won, Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought I had the small hand. I think that was the small hand. It was like a. It was yeah, a, no, because and yes, oh, and yes, man. I'm gonna break the ice here too. I had a four and a jack. All right, no, no. I'm sorry. Austin had the small blind. I told you, 2020, you have a chance of winning or losing. But I guess luck was on Austin's side. Yeah, 2020 chance of winning or losing. Jin had a 50% chance of winning or losing. Chance of losing. And uh, no, a twenty Is chance of winning, and it, uh, it, it's hard for me to explain. But it's just you know what I'm trying to say, Jen. You're trying to say that my small hand cannot beat you. Hmm. Jen, but focus. There you I go. I will show you. I'm gonna go for a raise. I will give you these hands, Ventura. You're gonna catch these hands. Hmm. You hear me? <laughs> Literally. So I'm here. I'm hearing you. All right. Well, I'm going to give you these hands. So you watch out. All right. I got queen highs, king highs, pair of kings. Let's see how the turn is. Full house. All right, Austin wins the pod. Full house. That's impressive. <laughs> I had a good feeling, but I didn't know if I was if it was a winning shot though. I cannot believe my mock didn't even work. Whatever. <laughs> You're mocking the wrong person. You okay. are mocking me. Okay, so um. The Look big at you and your tiny hands. Okay, the big blind is on Austin, so I think Austin has another chance at winning, but it could go wrong. Let's find mm -hmm. out. Yes, yes, yes. Next time. We're still on Guns of the Hellgas style poker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 16. No, 14. Fine. Alright, I'm going to place a call. I have a five. So Jin already placed a raise? Okay. I believe in my five. Alright, I'm gonna check. <laughs> yeah, I'll place another check, don't worry. I'm not folding like you guys are complaining. <laughs> Good. This ain't no place for women. <laughs> Alright, check. <clears throat> yeah, I'll play a uh, check. Here's a turn. Let's see who gets what. Check. Mm 
Uh, go for the call. <laughs> two of queens and a nine. Oh my god, I won yeah, two you dollars. The, you, had, and... you had the queen, the queen won out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hmm. Hand starts in six seconds. Small hand for Austin, big hand for Jen Kuhn. You could decide to call for that raise if you want to be risky. Be risky. Yeah, it's fun to be risky because I do it. Forty-nine dollars right now. To anywhere in the U.S. Wait, forty-nine dollars for for lights? No, for flights. Why would you want have? Why would you want to have flights if if there's a flu going around? That's too wide. Forty-nine dollars. That don't even make sense. <clears throat> of course it does. The fewer people using the flights, the lower the price. Think about it. Uh, good point. People right, are yours. basically quarantined to their house. So nobody's flying. Stay. Exactly. I went $2.86. Wow, I'm rich. <clears throat> And it didn't let me go all in. You don't. You only have the raise option, but yeah. it will be fun if they let you go all in and be kind of ballsy and say, you know, I'm going to risk it, but they don't let you do that. Yeah, the poker in both these games is kind of half to ask, both here and Red Dead. Red Dead, you only had like a three hand poker. No, and but at least in GTA, I mean, I mean, I got my games mixed up. My bad. No, but, but at least in, in Red Dead Redemption 2 single player, you could go all in for five bucks. They literally yeah. let you bet all your five bucks. Nice. But anyways, I got the big hands. So I'm going to go for a raise as well. But... Hand. Well, you're about to catch these hands. All right, Jen, let's see what you got. Hands. Okay, King High for, for Jen Kuhn. I got queen high. Ace high. Ace! Let's see, here's the, here's the turn. I'm ready to catch oh, man, this one's my close one. Everybody's got that. Nice, two dollars <laughs> aces, hell yeah. Oh my god, Austin has turned it around. I said a close one because everybody had really good cards too. Exactly. Okay, Austin has the big blind, so Austin has the advantage. Your face has the advantage. I do have a good poker face, but trust me, there's days where I win, there's days where I lose. Yeah. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. Okay, the jack high, Booyah. ten high. <laughs> okay, here's the turn the for Jin Kuhn. His ace won out. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, my ace won out. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> Damn, I'm actually doing pretty good surviving. I'm gonna be like Cyborg. Uh, wait, Cyberpunk, is, is that game gonna come out or what? September. Cyborg. That game comes out in September. Jesus Christ! 
Is there a way to pick Six up the game months. with... Uh, speaking of that, another rumor that came out in the last couple of days. A rumor, a rumor came out actually yesterday that Microsoft's looking to acquire yet another studio on their side. Hmm. CG Project Red is rumored to be that studio. Oh, ain't that something? So yeah, yeah, that would be a big blow. That would be a big blow to um Sony. I know they're not necessarily a Sony exclusive station, but they got a pretty good track record with them, though. Think about it. Well, the only <laughs> excuse me, the only let's see, Ace Ace is high, high nines. Let's see what I got. King high. I don't know if that's gonna make the turn, but here's a turn though. Oh, someone, Jin Kun Jin. got the pod. Yep, he had the closest I told cards you you to the jack. Yep. Ventura. Booyah! Well, at least with Sony, we got more exclusive, so that's not a big deal. Yeah, without it, still would be a shame to lose CD Projekt Red. But they, to be fair, though, they are they are I taking their sweet time it. with Cyberpunk, though. Right. No, but here's the thing. Um, they're just polishing the game. Exactly. But here's the thing. Um, losing Horizon Zero Dawn as an exclusive, that's a little bit of a low blow for, for Sony's That is, that is a bit that... of a big hit for Gorilla. But at the same time, I guess Gorilla. You have to remember Gorilla. I, like, it's kind of a half double edged sword for, for me for Gorilla, right? Right. I get it because because they got they got to do something even if it's something as crazy as controversy as a PC release of one of their games because you have to remember they've not released or done anything since Horizon they've not done anything right shit they're probably losing money right now since they're not doing or saying anything about their future plans or you know, we don't even we don't even know if that so called shooter is a kill zone that they're supposedly working on. We don't. I, mean, I would again. hope it's a kill zone, but we don't even know if it's a kill zone. Exactly. No, but I, I remember. Correct me if I'm wrong, but back on the PS1, I'm pretty sure when the PS1 was already reaching its cycle, it lost exclusives too. So don't yeah. don't be surprised. I mean, that's the problem with, with exclusivity, because you have contracts, and if your contract runs out, Sony loses a studio. That's that's normal, but what yeah. can you do? Same thing with Microsoft, though, but to be fair, Microsoft, they've they've made it clear that they, all they care about really is PC, and that X, the Xbox brand is just a side, it's just a side product now. Dude, if you have me working for Microsoft, I'll be like, no, we got it. We we're competing with Sony. Dude, have Microsoft have, have Microsoft hire me. I'm begging them to actually put Microsoft in, in track, but they don't care about the competition. Well, Sony's <laughs> kind of starting to go th that way too, but it's just one of those weird. It's just one of those things to me, you know, where it's like yeah, everybody, Austin... just wants to, everybody just wants to do their own thing. Yeah, indeed. Austin already won the pod. It's yeah. pretty cool. Hell, if anything, they're following. Everybody's trying to follow the Nintendo strategy of just not caring about the competition. <laughs> oh, by the way, Studio's not doing so well. By the way, right? It's, who cares about Stadia? Stadia, like, why is Stadia still advertising even though they know that they're failing down to their knees? I don't okay, get them. Okay. Google, Google is desperate. That's why. Huh. Well, desperate ain't gonna win you the console battle, even though I don't care about the console battle. I just play for fun. Console battle stopped meaning. For me, I think the console battle doesn't really mean that much anymore. Exactly. Okay, King High is for Austin. Let's see what Jin got. Uh, not a King High, and let's see what I got. I got three. I don't know if that's enough for me yeah, to I win. Yeah, I feel Jin let's... might win this one. Just get the mm, feeling. I... I mean, he probably will, but let's see who has the high deck. Oh, no. Oh, wow, wow, Adventure. He got it. <laughs> I got lucky, even though I had the lowest cards. Can you... yeah. I got lucky. There you go, Black Bell. Or should, I, or should I say young Belle because she looks younger? <laughs> She's not black. 
Don't even go there, Jen. <laughs> hey, you're the it's one that fits you up in black. Jen, you never even played the story mode of Red Dead Redemption on, uh, 2, so I'm not gonna even argue with you. It's because <laughs> of her clothing why she's called Black Belly. That's why. Hey, see, Austin gets Black it. Belly. And I haven't even played story mode, but even I knew that. That's because I was coaching you. <laughs> yeah, but sure, to be fair, he did, he, he did tell me that fact. I was just making a joke about racism. Mm. Obviously. I, I won again? You gotta be joking me. <laughs> See what happens when you don't fill Ventura? You make more money. Shut up, Jen. Stop rubbing it in. Mm. And I remember he was teasing me and telling me, you could have made all that money of interview you would stop voting. <laughs> That's exactly. true. It did, it happened after you stopped folding. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Jen's going for a max bet of a hundred. I'm gonna go for for his. One hundred pennies. No, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, one dollar. One hundred copper coins. Alright. Let's see who has the turn. Uh, queen high, ace is high. Mm -hmm. I also got an ace is high. Could I be tied with Austin? Who knows? I win! Jesus Christ, I'm already getting, like, $11? <laughs> Cause I've literally been betting all of my money. <laughs> Unlike you, sissies. Shut up, Jen. You know we're not sissies. Do Dude, I? You remind, you remind I me of my friend of money out of everybody. You remind me of my friend Lieutenant Nick. And I'm sitting here betting all my money. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm gonna call. Lieutenant Nick, all, when he played with me and my friend Dave, he always bet all his money. <laughs> even, though, even though he was only like a level 10 that was like, didn't have any more than $100. They're like, Nick, save all your money! In. Oh, Jen's already broke? Don't tell me he's broke. I'm not broke. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Here's the turn. <gasps> Who will win? Dun dun dun. Four, five, six, seven, eight, three. Oh, four, Jen five, six, wins seven, the pod. Eight. Never mind. I win all the money. Two dollars and eighty-six cents. Good, jo good job, good sir. Two hundred and eighty-six cents. All right. Alright, well, I'm gonna risk it since I have the big blind. Alright, I'm gonna call Max Bet. Why not? I have a face card. Would you no. like to guess which Shh, card don't, you got? don't tell me. Hold on to that card. I almost didn't call. I got something on my phone. My bad. <laughs> you don't want to guess? Okay, Jack High. I got <laughs> King High. Let's see what Austin got. Queen High. Let's see. Pair of queens. Austin gets the the the, yeah. the amount. There you go. Two dollars and eighty-six cents. Good job, Boston. 
Okay, Austin has a, has a big hand, so let's see what happens. I have normal sized hands. So you have the small blind, okay? No, actually, no, I, have I have normal sized hands. Ventura. Okay, so I have the small blind. I apologize. I will, I should have read my thing. Okay, I'm gonna call Max Betson's generally did that. Let's see, king high, ten high, let's see what Jin has, uh, three and two high, let's see. <laughs> Comparison to eight, I just won again, boys! What the hell, Austin, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wonder Sophia, how long is that moonshine gonna take? Sophia Cripps has done it again. Or Well, oh, I'm asking Austin, 40 but whatever. To 40 to 50 minutes, maybe just a little bit slower since we are in moonshine, but who knows. Alright, so Jin has the big for blind. 15 or so minutes, and we'll go check yeah. up on him after that. Oh, that sounds good, but I just hope by the time when we're done, yeah. it's already filled up. Yeah, we're about to fill it up anyway. You know how slow it can be. One, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna call. Oh, by the way, Ventura, here's another thing. You remember how I was, you remember, oh, you remember how I told you that I originally, um, what you call it? You remember how I told you I um I platinum mercenary a few years ago? <laughs> Kills on mercenary. Oh yeah, I remember. Let's see, let's see here. Um, one step closer to completing the game 100%, right? Even though I did platinum the game, I still got things in the game to do, right? One step closer was completed this week. I completed all the missions and all forms on veteran. It's pretty cool, man. Which basically, in all forms, I mean whether it was the precision, the covert, or the demolition contracts, right? I did them all on veteran. What did all you not do? All I gotta and do I in the game now is to get all the medals and stuff for all the guns. Like, get 500 kills with each gun, and get 100 headshots with each gun. Or uh, with but explosive off. rounds, 250, 250 kills and 10 triple kills. <laughs> Well, awesome. That's a lot of grinding, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But you know what? I'm down for it. All I really gotta do now is like the grenade launcher, that one rocket launcher with that you can only use in like open country, the VC-11 rocket launcher, and the snipers. What about the country? Plus the shotgun pistol. Everything else I've 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 meddled out in some form or fashion. Right. Over to oh, you. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, but um, and I beat um, going the abyss on normal, so pretty cool. Yep. But I, I want, I kind of want you to beat it on crushing. <laughs> I was thinking, about, I was thinking like, like I said, Venture, I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about taking it one step at a time on that. Right. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it one step at a time and see where I go. No, but but since but but since it's a handheld game, it shouldn't be that hard on, on crushing because I know. No, 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 let me rephrase <sighs> that. Not as hard, but still a challenge. Exactly. <laughs> and by the way, the Dante fight was so much easier the second time around. I only, <laughs> I only lost once due to the touch screen, a uh, minor touch screen glitch. And the Guerrero fight, dude, the I goal did, I, was the radiated, fight, and I didn't Dante like it at all. Exactly. No, the gold was radiated, and Dante, like an idiot, got so possessed, the gold right. ended up killing him. But right. even Flynn wasn't that stupid, even though <laughs> even though working for a, a sci Russian psycho is pretty stupid. Exactly. Even, even Flynn eventually learned his lesson, even if it cost him. Yeah, and by the way, I'm speaking of of Flynn. Well, sorry if I'm changing the to topic, but Monster Hunter World, I have. 
um, two more trophies to go, mm-hmm. and they're going to take forever because I have to get the gold crowns, the large gold crowns for every monster. Yeah. The small gold crowns for every monster. I'm like, mm-hmm. almost every monster. So that one's going to take forever, just like yeah. it did with, with the other uh, Monster yeah. Hunter games. So, yeah. Because um, they applied on Monster Hunter World a long time ago, but Iceborne, for those of you that are watching, mm-hmm. it'll take forever. And congratulations, Jin, because you made more money. Yeah. I told you. But yeah, man, congratulations on, on yep. Golden Abyss, Austin. Yep. Wow. Yeah, so that's two playthroughs down. One or two more to go, depending on what I'm playing. And, and Venture, I still got grinding to do in that game, too. I'm trying to get all at least all the weapon trophies. If if not more than that, mm. well, the best of luck I still, to you. I still got to get M4. I guess I still got to get 70 kills with both the M4 and the, and the Spaz 12. I got to get 200 kills with the minigun. Yeah, yeah, that's a ton of grinding right there because you're having to do the missions where you get the minigun over and over and over again. Have to try to get 20 to 30 kills each time, each playthrough. <laughs> Plus, you're having to um. Oh, there's like some other weapons too that you gotta get at least 60, 70, 80 wow. kills with. It's crazy. So Golden Abyss, if you thought the original games in Uncharted 4 was a bunch of work with certain weapons, oh, 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 Golden Abyss makes those games look like nothing. As far as grinding oh, yeah. for trophies. And not to mention there's the, there's the, there's the, the touchscreen puzzles that would take forever for me to do. I normally skip uh-huh. out on half a dozen, just do the ones that necessarily I have to. But I might go back and do them sometime. It's just those will be among my last trophies. Oh, we got a split for the first time in history. Nice. <laughs> oh my god! Nice job, guys. I remember when me and my friend Lost Death for Glory got got a split. It was pretty cool. Hmm, it's pretty cool. Hmm. But yeah, don't well, say like, like like for, like for as far as going the best goes. Maybe like Dante and Gu- well Gu- more so Guero than Dante for this <laughs> for Lazarevich clone Guero was had his moments for Lazarevich clone. I'll still I still Dude, like even... Asav, I still like a soft better at the end of the day, but you know Guero even threw one of his men off the balcony <laughs> and Dante. Don't forget Dante. And then Dante had the balls to go up against him and hire an Arnie. <laughs> like, no, 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 but, but I, I like I like how Dante was like, hey, Dante, you want to end up like Senor Sanchez? He says, no, 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 I'll work for you. I, I swear. He says, good, good. So I have to throw it off the balcony. <laughs> uh, oh, my God, Dante like said, got lucky. Then, like I said, he was just discount. He was even more arrogant than Harry Flynn, even though he's supposed to be discount Harry Flynn. Like, bruh. Dude, Harry Flynn was a coward because Harry Flynn was afraid of Lazarevich. Exactly. Dante just kept on switching in and out. I don't even know how I won that one. But he kept on switching. It's like one minute he was scared of Guero, next minute he had the balls to go up and, and hire an army against him. Like, well, uh, that's 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 not that's not even having the balls. That's 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 actually taking the cowardly route. So that way he could yeah. hide himself by using his soldiers. You see, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call that way, ballsy. Ventura, if you look at his soldiers, those soldiers, for the most part, as far as their uniform, they look the same as um Roman's men from the first game. But to be fair. From what I read about Golden Abyss's development, they used a lot of the same graphic asset and visual assets as Drake's Fortune. Yeah, and I don't know why one of the soldiers sounded like Steve Bloom from they, from Steve Durga's Bloom service. Voiced he voiced a lot of them. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Bloom, he voiced a lot of the soldiers from the trilogy and Golden mm-hmm. Abyss. He was also in Final Fantasy VII Dirk of Cerberus. Steve Bloom was and a good Sub-Zero, actor. I ain't gonna he, lie to you. And he voiced Sub Zero in MKX. Oh, yeah. Mortal Kombat. Uh, no way, Austin. Yeah. Did he? Wow. Yep. Steve Bloom also played Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop, but he did everything. Yeah. He's like the video game <laughs> Troy Baker, even though Troy Baker's been in both games and movies. No, 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 but 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 to but to be fair, um, Cowboy Bebop. 
is it is a Japanese anime and Steve I've heard Bloom. Of it. Yeah. I've and heard of it. Steve Go ahead. Mm. Yeah, but Austin, even if you're even if you're a casual anime watcher, I recommend you watch it. To get into the story, you don't have to be a big anime fan. It's just uh, yeah. the story feels like an action packed movie, even uh, yeah. though it's a TV show. Oh uh, yeah. But what mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, that's Steve just Bloom, my... he's everywhere, man. He's he's just like right. Troy just like his buddy Troy Baker, he's everywhere. Exactly, but Austin, I know you're not into anime, but trust yeah, me, you're gonna love yeah. Cowboy Bebop. Like, um, borrow a copy from a friend if you're not sure, or rent it. I don't know if they. I can see if it's on yeah. any episodes are on YouTube. Right. Um, or even just like yeah, but you're only gonna have like YouTube. yeah, but you're only gonna watch like a few episodes, but like. YouTube is kind of a bitch because they're gonna be like, "Oh, you want to watch all the episodes? We're gonna charge you two bucks because they'll do that shit." Yeah, I know, but that's because they have that program similar to Netflix for certain series, which I don't blame them for. They got to compete with Hulu and Netflix and all of them somehow. Exactly. Which they got a lot. Holy of movies shit! I made eleven bucks and I wasn't even it. looking. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I'm down to three dollars and forty-two. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll play one or two more games, and then we're gonna go check on my moonshine. Hope it's at least fifteen, if not ready, fully ready. Yeah, to but go. do do the notifications pop up? <laughs> no. That's kind of dumb, but whatever. As far as I'm aware of, it's it's probably I think it's it goes, but I think it's slower though. All right. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> do technically, my. Technically, my... we are in like a different lobby. Or in, in the own separate game mode, so of course it's gonna be slower. Hmm, ain't that some? Yep. All right, Jen wins that one. We'll do one more. All right, Jen. Jen wins the pod. <laughs> All right, last, last game, Jen, boys. Jen is already stocking up on the bills, yo. Look at that, eight, eight bucks. Yep. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, in the next update, they won't break as much stuff, though. I'm just saying. I would, I would right, hope maybe in the next update. Going forward, they could stop breaking so much shit in the game and at least halfway fix their game. You know, dude, but don't don't make me spend twenty five gold bars just for a fucking roll. That shit's stupid. Yeah, that that did suck, especially if I can't like live in yeah, it. Yeah, it has like a hundred. <laughs> yeah, but the shack was a waste though. It was a waste. Like, there's it had so much potential, and, and, the, and even the band got born. We don't even do the play with the band anymore like we used to exactly I spend a thousand dollars on 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 the moonshine stuff the equipment the band the bar oh and I won again <laughs> and then we can't even live but, in it you know we exactly can't even respond in it. But all right boys we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave all right well Austin just press the button so that way we could all leave together There we go. I'm hoping my stuff's at least halfway. Oh, it's this door. Why does that look? Oh, that door must be locked or something. Oh my god, my character's hungry. Oh, that was weird. Civilians just randomly spawned in. Oh my god, my Why character is my so character... Okay. Yeah, I know, right? My character just randomly started starving. And my <laughs> dead eye's gone. Mm. Did we play so much poker rounds that we just starved ourselves to death? That could be. I'm gonna I drink some. I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened, Ventura. We played too much <laughs> poker. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some fine brandy to get my dead eye back. Yeah, same. same. No, gin's better. Drink, drink gin. Literally. 
Hey. Oh. Yeah, Jin, hey, drink some Jin. <laughs> mm. Mm. There you go, my Arabian horsey. So I'm gonna go teleport to my shack. I my I do hate how they put the um. I'm not used to um, them putting the teleport in Southern Saint Denis. I'm not used to that. Or, really? Really, horsey? Mm, I wonder... Down All right, I'm so... trying to go to my shop. Well, there, there is a teleporting. Yeah. Fast travel to the shack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna enter with posse and one chance at this time. Crap, I'm out of uniform. Should have worn my un my moonshine uniform. Okay. Really? Oh, How much do we sure we have a bit of a problem? Oh, what's the problem? It really just started. They re they they did something to the moonshine this week. The moonshine's all messed up. They did something to it. Alright, well it's what, all, what time it's, is it? It's 9.30. We're not selling the 9, unfortunately. I think DSL from earlier is going to be our only sale. Oh, the reason I say that, around that before it ultimately glitched out on us as far as the sale count, right? Right. Or the buyer count. I was at least, last week, the batch made most of itself during our poker game, right? It didn't do that this week. It just now started making the stuff. It's only at 3. What the fuck, Austin? Yeah. You mean this whole time we played poker, it, did, it, it just, stayed at three? It didn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, you well. Let's how about this? Play how about this? Let's not. Let's not. Let's not waste this night. Let's go. Let's just play poker for the rest of it. Yeah. I'm like, hey, Rockstar, fix your moonshine. Yeah. I mean, dude, I, I don't mind us having a poker night. I really don't mind. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, I do. I do think like I've decided to ensure from now on until they fix the moonshine stuff, right? Whenever possible, we'll start off our nights with a moonshine. Shine, eh? The beer sale, beer shine, same damn thing. The alcohol sale. We'll do one, and then the rest of the night we'll do poker. I think that's the way it should be since it's glitched up right now. Yeah, at least we're able to make one sale. Yeah, like like I was really I was really hoping to be able to get into the flow of doing like, you know, one sale to start, po and poker for like thirty minutes to an hour, and then a sale to end it. Like the game's like, nope, 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 can't do that. But yeah, whatever they did this week, it really screwed with the moonshine. Whatever they did. Uh, I mean, Rockstar, I love your game, but you got to work on your stuff, man. Seriously. Yeah. And then the funny thing is that it's out of beta. There's no reason to make to make nope. to make the no, game sure. the, super the buggy. The beta was just a label. It was just a label to excuse them for their stupid shit. Right. If you ask me. All right, boys. I'm going to Saint Denis. Yeah, I, I, I hate I hate basically wasting time like that. But uh, well, I don't I don't know, man. It's just. That's just such a letdown, bro. The moonshine was actually... I was i was really starting to get into the flow of doing moonshine, but it's like... Can't do that now when it's... Not when it's bugging out like that. But seriously, the last week, it made most of its... It made it to... It made at least half of itself, if not more than that, during our game. And it's like, now this week, it didn't... It, after we get out the game, it just then starts making itself. 
<laughs> and I had made that, I had restarted that batch right before the poker game. Right. Or before, a few minutes before we got to the poker station in St. Denis. And I guess from now on, poke, moonshine to start, poker to finish. And that's just the way the crookie crumbles, unfortunately. Yep. The crookie crumble. Cookie crumbles. Am I saying it right? I'm probably I probably mispronounced it once, so bear with me, Jen. I speak so fast sometimes. I'm like, what are you talking about, Ventura? Make Tony a string, Stardew Valley. Hmm. Major malls and stuff. Florida are now closed. The water of is not closed in Florida. Yeah, Florida Major got Florida Mall. got hit pretty bad too. What was it? What is it so far? Twenty, thirty cases down there, maybe more than that. Hmm. There is in Florida. There is about. I think like about a thousand cases, and there's six deaths in yeah, Florida, it's, unfortunately. No, it's, no, it's a thousand in the U.S. altogether. It's not no thousand in Florida. Not yet. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's, that's a thousand in the U.S. Oh, okay, okay, so yeah, you're, you're right. You're absolutely right, Austin, because I was cases looking at something else. New York and Washington. Those are the two states to get hit hardest, but Florida and North Carolina are climbing up there. North Carolina, we got like 40 cases. All right, so we're going to wait for Jen. Okay, Austin's gonna call. I'm gonna I'm gonna go all in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here's the turn. Yep, you won. Oh, I won. I got lucky. Go right ahead, Black Bell. <laughs> hey, boys. Talking to those guys right behind us, those gentlemen. Hmm. No peeking. Reported <laughs> <laughs> cases in Florida, 195. Damn. Um. Learn more. All right, I'm gonna go for a, for a race since I have the big blind. No, no, Jen, Jen did. There you go, Jen. You won the pod. I win three dollars again. Did you see that thing on TikTok? <laughs> nope. The COVID-19 challenge. Oh, God. People are legit looking like fucking Tony toilet Wyatt? bowl Why? seats. What the hell is wrong with people, yo? 
Hey, these are the same people that fucking, you know, decided eating Tide Pods was a cool thing to do. Yep, yep, it's, it's those morons. Oh, I'm not surprised. Those morons that actually survived, that, that attempted it and lived. No, I don't want to attempt something and be ballsy. You're gonna, you're playing with your life. What the hell's wrong with people? They're white kids on TikTok. Not oh, just white man. kids. It's kids of all nationalities, Wait, Jen. They're attractive white kids on TikTok, so they're popular. Oh well, Justin Bieber could join him because he's pretty loony too. <laughs> I can't believe Justin Bieber's married to to that girl, like, seriously? <laughs> people are asking me, and like, people are probably gonna ask me in the comments, let's see who's Justin Bieber's wife, I'm like, I don't know, do you think I care about the pop star? Jen's going for a maximum raise and quitting Austin. Let's see. Yeah, why not? I think Jen's maximum gonna eat my money on this one. Maximum effort. Oh, damn. That's not good for Austin. Let's see. Here's. Like Deadpool. Here's the turn. Hmm. Oh, my God. I got lucky. Hmm. Who the hell is down to one dollar already? That's me. Oh, be <coughs> good God. Yeah, just, I'm just not having a good one. This, maybe it's my outfit. I think this outfit's bad luck. Mm. Yes. Even to be fair, I was on like a five. I was on like a five-man losing streak. Totally bad luck. The first time. Well, Jane, it's not second mistress outfit. What do you expect? Hmm. The digital coding. You know, I'm all so I say, developers, we want you to make this specific outfit. Just make it bad luck. All right. <laughs> to be fair, Jen, this is a custom if outfit. Happen, this is a custom outfit. Happen, I, I bring my own luck. They happen I can to play poker. I can't. Make I sure can't. I can't believe the developers on this one. I have to believe myself. Because these are outfits made by me. Okay, well, Austin no, has to buy in can. because... Oh, yeah. I almost forgot to buy in. But, yeah, but yeah, I, I, make, I make my own luck, Jen. Okay, I make well, my own good and I make my own bad. I don't think I have any luck because Jen already turned the tables on this round. But I like <laughs> this outfit, though. Leather black blouse, leather brown pants, fur fur high heeled boots. Perfect mistress outfit. Perfect. And the hat matches my pants. Why not? I know who's the best mistress, and that's Elvira. But does the carpet match the drapes? Oh, it definitely does, because she wears black on black, and. She has the beehive hairstyle. Oh my god, Elvira, she's wicked beautiful. And so, I remember... the hair on her vagina is the same as the hair on her head. No, because she's 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 really if you go back to the nineteen seventies, she's really a redhead. Oh. Ah. Yeah, you know and you know how how I actually know because uh I'm sorry if I'm actually being perverted. This this is guy conversation. What oh, I actually won the pot. Um, she has a red hairy vagina. Back in the 1970s, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. And by the way, this is mm. insert a little disclaimer. This is an 18 plus document uh, commentary, this so you can say whatever you want. I said doc. I said documentary. No, it's not. Vagina. 18 plus commentary. How dare you talk about vaginas? <laughs> 18 plus. <laughs> 
Don't you know that vaginas are taboo? Oh, not when they, not when it's a beautiful redhead girl. I mean, I, dude, I, I love Aloy. She, she's pretty hot too. I'm gonna lie to you, but she's a video game character. I know, but does it matter? I like women that cosplay as Aloy. You're gonna sue me? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, okay, because okay, speaking of cosplay, of my perfectly normal hat. speaking of cosplay, the whole cosplay stuff, it's very hit and miss with me, very hit and miss. Alright. <laughs> no, but there was like one ginger girl that knew how to make the spear of Aloy. Mm -hmm. She almost poked her cat, her cat was like going, meow! The only, the only, <laughs> the only cosplay that girl that I really like, and it's just because she's my friend, is Infinity FGC. But that's because she cosplays as all the Mortal Kombat characters. That's why. When she it's goes to cool, her fights. But... Oh, there's nothing wrong with having a hit and miss. It's just as long as you find that one cosplayer that knows how to do it right. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, I think Jen won the pot on that one. As much as I love Chloe That's Fraser, cool. as much as I love her as a video game character, all her cosplays are already getting old for me. And I swear, everybody does the same thing. They do her Uncharted 2 cosplay. Come, look, look, I get it. I like her Uncharted 2 costume as much as the next Chloe Fraser fan. But come on, come on. Come on. Uh, you, could at, you could at least do the whole red shirt, blue jeans crap. Yeah, but anybody could just buy a red shirt and blue jeans. You could... Fruit of Balloon sells red shirts. So it, it's that know, easy. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's just me, though. Maybe it's just me. So it's... And you can buy Levi Weiser jeans. That's the most easiest cosplay. <laughs> but Budweiser, on the other hand, does not make jeans. I said I Levi's. It's Levi's jeans, to, not uh, Budweiser. It's got to be hard to cosplay Nadine Ross. Speaking of Uncharted. Yeah, you can. You could actually... Women could buy brown cargo pants. Or khaki brown. Like, again, yeah, get, do it's it. the 21st century, Austin. Women can wear pants. Exactly. Well, you have to remember, you have to, only, cer to only certain women can cosplay Nadine, though. Mm. Hey, Damn. That's cosplayist. And <laughs> Burn! Well, I don't, to tell I don't, people I don't, I don't know. That's, certain people can do that's, it. That's actually kind of an interesting How prospect. How dare you, sir? That's an interesting How prospect. How dare you? Shame <laughs> me, certain people. Like, if you don't look like this, you can't do this. Mm. Oh, no. Let them express themselves, Austin, you grumpy my, white my guy. Point, my point is cosplay is very hit and miss for me. Very <laughs> hit and miss. I'd rather just see pictures of the actual character. Dude, I don't internet. think Austin ever went to a game convention. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> had the chance. I wouldn't have the chance, man, even if I wanted to. Dude, hang out with your goddamn brother. I know he he, he hangs out with you. Uh, <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's he's basically doing his own thing. Shit, if he he's never even been to a gaming convention either. Oh damn, that sucks. And well, you gotta. And he's more of a Microsoft guy, so yeah, he plays play, He's played PlayStation and all that. Yeah, I won. But he's at the end of the day, he's on the Microsoft side. Hmm. Because well, they definitely don't have conventions. What does Microsoft side have to do with conventions, Austin? Jim makes a good point. <laughs> you got different interests, man. Oh, do you, oh, you don't think Microsoft does cosplay? Come on. Man, a girl could dress up as... They do, they do cosplay. I'm just talking about... We, we just don't really... No, 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 really, no. We don't no, hang no, no. together I, I, like that, though. I call bullshit because how much you want to bet if you go to a game convention, there's a girl that could dress up as her fair Gears of War character. No, so no, don't, don't, be don't, no, don't, don't you mean his? Her, hey, um, that's sexist right it, there. You can't say that. What, women can't dress up as Gears of War characters now? <laughs> he, he, was talk, he was talking about our, my brother. He was talking about our, my brother. Uh, no, no, your brother has nothing to do with that. Austin, I'm trying to make a point. Your brother... I'm not asking your brother to dress up as a Gears of War character. You mentioned my brother, though, like, like, saying... saying I, cause he, I thought, I, th I thought he would go to game conventions, I was just throwing you an idea, no, that's a different don't. topic, no, he, Austin. No, he doesn't. Yeah. 
Said we're going back and forth between topics, though. We're going back and forth between game convention hey, and hill. Austin, you got sidetracked of the conversation. <laughs> no, we all got sidetracked. We went no, from, no, because we I told you. We went from cosplay to game conventions to gaming interests. No, but then, but then you brought up Microsoft. Microsoft is doing their own thing. I'm like, what? Do you don't think Microsoft does game and to conventions be, and too? Like, and, and like I said, he's we don't really do all that stuff together because we don't have a whole lot, lot in common. He's he's more of the Microsoft Xbox guy, and I'm more of the Sony PlayStation guy. Right. <laughs> you know okay. I mean. So the point you're trying to make is that he doesn't go to game conventions. I gotcha. Yeah. And even if we both did, we probably would go to different booths and shit. Hmm. Because you're all about the exclusives. Yes. And he's all about the PC. The so-called PC Masteries. Fuck the crossplay games. Uh, yep. Can't be playing games with no... Multi-platform games? What is that? That's ridiculous. Well, I, I, like, I like both. I like exclusives and... And multiplayer, because it's, it's perfect a example. Same here. I'm a, I'm a mixture. Not Austin. <laughs> Austin only plays games from Sony. <laughs> yeah, I, play, I played my sh I played my fair share. Back I, to be fair, when I was younger, I used to, I did play the original Xbox when I was younger. The original. And and oh, Jen. I, I played. I, Jen, I, 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 shared, actually... I shared it between PS2 and uh, and the original Xbox. Jen, and, 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 Jen, and not to defend Austin, Jen, I actually call bullshit because Austin is playing Call of Duty and that's yeah. for multi-platform consoles. Yeah, I play Call of Duty. I, my favorites being Black Ops 1, World War 2, and the Modern, War, the Modern Warfare 2019. Those are my three favorite CODs right there. Alright. Shit, damn, Jen is racking up the ball with, with, with $8. I don't Black Ops 2, but Black Ops 2 didn't stay with me as long. Black Ops 2, Dude. Venture, that was, that was the last like, of Call of Duty's decent games before they went, most of them went down the toilet. Mm. Promotes people. Don't you have a... I won! That's pretty cool. You shot me like a rainbow, it hurt me. Thanks a lot, Jen. I got Miley, I got Miley Cyrus song stuck in my head. That's not the Miley Cyrus words. Don't you never say I just walk away. I think there's something wrong with Miley Cyrus because like she lets her fans touch her and uh, I don't want to go there. Yeah, let's not talk about Miley. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. Uh, do <laughs> and, and the family show venture. I know I'm already gonna get sued. All right, Miley Cyrus is gonna be like, hey, can't. Talk about that shit. This is a family show. <laughs> nope, not if it's 18 plus commentary. Hmm. Be like, hey, I came from Disney. You can't be talking about that shit. No, but she was even featured in Watch Mojo, so. Watch she Mojo, they feature anybody and everybody just for clickbait. Right. And their lists are often clickbait. Maybe oh. forgetting their Last of Us fanboys in particular, Ventura. Oh, every, Troy, Troy, every, Troy, Troy every, Baker. To, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but every single gaming list that features Last of Us in some way or form is always number one. Right. But you haven't played Last of Us, so you don't have an opinion, Austin. <laughs> yes, I do. It's not Last but... of Us. Last of Us ain't the end all be all. Hmm. Well, but you. you. But you haven't played it. What the hell? I'm, I'm catching up to Jin Kun. Like, I ain't gonna lie, Uncharted's not the end all be all. Neither is Killzone. Hmm. Shit, honestly, if you think about it, for me, for me, and I, I'm, I'm not being exact on this, this is just coming off the top of my head. There's really two or three games that stand out as that could be the so called single greatest video game of all time, right? There is GTA San Andreas. There is. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I, J J J I'm just. I'm trying. I'm just popping out random <laughs> games that stand out the people as iconic, right? Across the generations. There's. 
Whatchamacallit? There's a difference between iconic and greatest ever. Mm. Yeah, but the most Trump's it, go, it goes hand in hand a lot, though. It goes hand in hand a lot. Even though there are differences. No, it doesn't. For most people, it goes hand in hand. Trump Austin. is iconic. Mario is iconic. Wait, 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 wait. what? What? Iconic. And you could say you could say that any of you could say that any of the classic Mario Sonic games are candidates for the greatest game of all time. No, you can't. Are you sure about yeah. that? Yeah. I mean, they're fun, but there's nobody that'd be like, "This is the greatest game ever." Trust me, there's people, there, there's those Nintendo fanboys that are like that. And there are Last of Us fanboys that are like that. I mean, well, I'm an Avenger yeah. Kills on an Uncharted fanboy, but I'm not like that. I'm not saying this is the greatest game ever. The most I probably would get to is this is so much fun, man, you gotta play it. That's probably the most <laughs> fanboy I would get. Yeah. And, last, and there, there's sadly a small group of Last of Us fans in particular that are like... And I ain't gonna lie, Uncharted, we have, we have our share of fans that are like that, too. That, if you don't play this game, or if you well, don't play this game... Had amazing yeah. graphics and a good story, so... And good But so did play. Uncharted 4, though. <sighs> but Uncharted didn't look as good. Well, it's because they had to make the engine from scratch in the first Uncharted yeah, game. Yeah, to be fair, Unchar but Uncharted went through development hell. 4 went through development hell, though, because they their story got written all over again, and they had to redo the engine all over. And went through development hell. It was supposed to be released on the PS3, and then Amy Hennon left due to her, her idea of Sam being a villain not working out, which I'm grateful Sam wasn't a villain. Now, that idea was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, but I remember Super mentioned that, like, that's Drake's brother. Like, how are you going to kill your brother like that? Like, you just... Yeah. Like, it just wouldn't make sense in, in, in the terms of the feeling, because... And then, to be fair, they were coming off of somewhat, compared to Uncharted 2, mediocre Uncharted 3 as far as the story front goes, even though I personally right. love 3 story. Yeah, and Super also mentioned that like when they were little, they were going after after this treasure. And why yeah. would you want to break a bond with the two brothers? It just yeah. doesn't make sense. Yeah, especially if Rafe's going to be the main villain in the in any, anyway. They the, her her original idea was to have them go against each other, and then Sam to have an epiphany that Rafe is the real bad guy. So Sam was Rafe was going to be the main villain anyway. Hell, she had Rafe and Nadine wanting to kill each other off just so Sam and Nate could du duke it out. Now that would have been stupid. <laughs> Come on, Nadine is supposed to be a survivor. Not every villain is supposed to necessarily die. And she's not even a so-called straight-up villain villain. She's just playing in the villain's hands. Who's to say exactly. she can work for past villains as a mercenary? Who's to say? Who's to say she didn't have offers from Gabriel Roman? Who's to say she didn't have offers from Lazarevich? Who's to say she didn't have offers from Marlowe? Who's to that's say? That's a very good... It's a very good point. Especially Lazarevich. Come on, Lazarevich is looking for soldiers from all over the world just to help him conquer Shambhala. Come on. I am surrounded by traitors and thieves. I remember. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, we'll play one more game here, and then we're going to wrap this up. All After right. This. And Venture, I have, I have, like, it's not conclusive proof, but it's, it's possible proof, right? By the end of the day, it's ultimate speculation. Not to bio from Uncharted 4 multiplayer, where it says he worked in Nepal. And when yeah. he's working in Nepal, there's only one man he could work for as a corrupt mercenary. And that is Zoran Lazarevich, since Lazarevich wanted to invade Nepal for Shambhala. So, but at the end of the day, it's speculation and, you know, debate. Right. Yeah, look, I won money. <laughs>
Dude, yeah, damn, dude, you got like eight bucks. Holy! But I'm just saying that there's like those fanboys from like, and and every game's got the, every game's got the, every major series title, whatever they've got, they've got those idiots. Oh, I, I love Death Stranding, but people are hyping it like, oh, it's the best game. I'm like, no, it isn't. It's a, it's a decent game. Like it, it, I beaten, yeah. I beaten it, I platinum it, but even I'm honest, like it's a decent game. It's not perfect. Yeah, it's, 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 it's Kojima's first game since le since getting fired from Konami. Come on, man. The dude did exactly. the best he could. He had to do whatever. He just he just did the best he could. If he could make a better game and he had all the resources and all the time in the world and all the support in the world, the Death Stranding would, would be much better. Exactly. No, I love Death Stranding, but even I'm admitting it's not perfect. Yeah. Jin even saw the, the what I wrote on Facebook about the game. Yep. All right, 286. Well, Damn, boys, Austin, I think we're gonna call it here. All right, guys, all right. this is Lars the Gamer 42. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. Apologies for the technical difficulties at the beginning of the stream. PlayStation was kind of at buggy, but we got rolling. Anyway, hope you all enjoy the moonshine and the poker, and we'll catch y'all in the next I stream. Win. Peace.